Hello, hello, hello! You're tuning into the episode of The Wonder King Show. Today's second topic say it ain't so! Oh my gosh. So, if y'all have not heard, listen, I came out of work today. I was like, man, I gotta get some stuff done. And I was sitting there looking up. So, you know, when I get out of work, I can't have my phone during the day. And I get on my phone and I'm like, what happened with Zay Flowers? <laughs> Bruh. Domestic violence accusation. And look, that is not a laughing matter. It is 100% serious. This is not the type of content I like to make. But this is extremely, extremely serious. And this can derail things moving forward very quickly. Because look. This is a this is a hot button topic. And I'm not listen, we don't know what happened. We gotta wait for the, the 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 proof and everything to come out. But these are some serious allegations. But the allegations coming out are whoo pretty much. They're saying that he attacked her and her and his and his brother pulled a gun on her. At least that's what's being said by the woman. His uh his significant other, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this ain't good. This ain't good at all. And this is why I keep trying to tell people, you know, they always think, oh, we got one guy, it'll be okay, and you know, we'll build off them. This is why you have more than one person because anything can happen. Calvin Ridley, y'all see what happened with that with the uh with the gambling thing? How long was he out of football for? You see what I mean? You get where I'm coming from? Anything can happen. This is why you have multiple ways to still be successful. And I'm being real with you. I'm listen. I'm surprised at that because from what everybody tells me about Zay is one of those chill, chill dudes, great guy, cool, always laughing. But hey, I'm not listen. I'm not picking sides because we don't know. We don't know nothing what happened. Uh, we don't know what happened or anything. We've already listen as a Baltimore Raven fans. You know we know this better than anybody else. So I got two words for y'all. Ray Rice. And that's what comes to mind when I think of domestic violence being a, being a Baltimore Raven fan. That's the first thing that comes to mind. I remember everyone was like, oh, it was just a fight, but then it wasn't, it was nothing big. I was like, oh, she probably lying, da la. And people were trying to choose sides. And then the video came out and everyone said. So that's what I'm saying. That's where I'm at. I'm look. Everybody's praying for this to be false. Everybody's praying for this to be somebody you know mad and and, and going to it. And listen, if it is false, I hope he sues her. I hope he sues her for everything that she will ever be worth. I like. I hate false accusers. I hate that. You're, you're praying that this is false accusations. You know what I mean? But I hate false ac- because what it does is it, it diminishes the importance for the people that are actually really going through uh, DV. You know what I'm saying? And that and that to me is a, is a more egregious act than the act itself because then people stop believing them. You know what I mean? So this is this is something that we we have to work together on. You know, it's not a, it's, it's a hot button topic. It's something that's very serious. We all have sisters, mothers, aunts, nieces, daughters. You know what I'm saying? So this is this is very serious. I'm praying. Oh my! When I'm telling you, I'm praying. I am praying that this is false. I am so far praying it's false. You know what I mean? Because this can not only derail his career. It, it, it's horrible for it to happen to the girl if it's true, because she's gonna be scarred for life. This, I mean, she's gonna be like, this is that's like, imagine you're like, imagine a family member going through something like that. You know what I mean? It's not something that you would wish on your enemy family, especially the females of the family, because it can happen to men too. But it's but it, but you're very much in the minority when it comes to that. So it's just it, man. Look. And now, I, I, and I just made a video, my last video, saying what? I want Marquise Brown. And multiple people said, why do we need Marquise Brown if we have Zay Flowers? What happens if we don't have Zay Flowers? What if we don't have Zay Flowers? I know a lot of y'all, oh, when we get to that bridge, we'll cross it. 
What happens if all those players are picked up? Um, and then we're like, oh, we're the last person at the dance. And the punch bowl is empty. You see what I'm trying to say? I Listen, just call it foreshadowing. I'm, I'm one of those people that like to be ready so I don't have to get ready. I hope for the best, but I definitely plan for the worst. And it's better to have something and not need it than to need it and not to have it. But Hollywood Brown, and I'm being real with you, is an amazing player. He has proven that he could be a great player. He's proven he could be a reliable player. He's proven he could be dynamic. He could proven that he could be a, a, a splash play specialist. And to me, adding that on the Baltimore Ravens now more than ever for insurance, more than anything else, is a must need because Hollywood is not breaking the bank. I'm telling y'all he's not breaking the bank. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's not. And there's still a chance the Cardinals might um, re-sign him because you know him and Kyler Murray are really close. But this Zay Flowers thing, boy, this came out of left field. I Listen, oh my God. I, yo, we are really getting beat being Raven fans this offseason. Like, yo, like, we're getting beat down. Like, when I read this, I was like, oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I, listen, I, was, <laughs> I went right to Twitter. I heard other Raven fans on their Twitter freeze like, oh, oh, oh. bro, because it's not a laughing matter, but I'm just giving you, like, what Raven fans was doing. Like, how they were acting. They were like, no, why me? It's just, oh, gosh. Yeah, yo, it really does leave you speechless because you're like, where do you go from here? Like, where do you go? Why do you do what you do? Like, ugh. oh, Zay, Zay, Zay. Let's just like I said, let's just pray that this is a false allegation and we can move forward from it. And hopefully if it is, I hope he sues because you because the stench of this never washes off. It never you could be proven. And, and, and you know, uh, some people that go through this or went through, have friends that went through it and stuff like that, the stench of it never escapes you. Even if you're proven innocent, the stench does not escape you. So that's what I'm saying. If he's innocent and he's and he proves it and it's out that, oh, da, la, I hope he sues her for everything that she'll ever own. And that's being real. But if he did it, well, bro, you're probably going behind bars. <laughs> You really deserve that. And that's just being real with you. But what do you guys think? Are y'all surprised at the allegations? Are you praying for the best? You know what I'm saying? Especially after the Ray Rice incident for Baltimore? Let me know what you think down in the comment section, please. But as always, that's an episode of the Wonderkind Show. Thank you for watching. Y'all know how we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. You know, love the comments. And if you have not done so already, check out the one that can show Patreon. Yes, three tiers of content goodness waiting for your consumption. Give it a look. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. And if you would like to donate to this channel, help out with equipment, help out with the cameras we're trying to save up for, bottom of the screen, QR code. QR codes to a cash app. Cash is located in the description of every video that we do. And the name of it is Money Sign. The Wonder Can Show. Super easy. But once again, this is The Wonder Can Show. This is your host, Nitro, signing off. And as always, you know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. Hmm. Yerp.